This program is proudly brought to you by the VAFA Live Official App. With live scores, team stats, player stats and much, much more. Everything you need for the VAFA in the palm of your hand. Download it from the App Store or Google Play now. Hi, my name's Jared Russo from CSM down here at Waverley Oval where De La Salle hosted Old Melbournians. I'm here with uh, Peter Schwab. Schwab. Unfortunate loss today, but it was a great game. Uh, hard fought game in the first quarter. You guys went back and forward, kicked five goals to their seven. Um, what did you think of the first half? Yeah, well, the first quarter was a bit of a, a goal fest. So, um, you know, we had the bruise and they kicked seven against it. So I thought, oh, that, that might be a bit of a concern. Um, but at least we were scoring, but we were getting scored against. So half time, yeah, I thought, you know, we fought back in the later part of the second quarter to narrow the margin a little bit and thought if we had a good third quarter, we'd give ourselves a chance, and that's exactly what we did. Yeah, well, at half-time, you were down by 15 and ended up finishing the third quarter leading by 10 uh, with the likes of Nixon and Gotch and, and um, uh, Nethersold. They all played really well. Uh, I like Masterson's uh, couple quarters where he took a couple of screamers, um, but all in all, it was good third quarter. Going into the last quarter, kind of ran, they ran away with it. Uh, what were your thoughts then? Well, I saw it three quarter times. The first time in a while we've been in position to win a game, and um, the breeze had certainly dropped. Um, you know, and it was really the message was well, what we did in the third quarter was the right formula. We just need to continue in that vein. But missed a couple of shots, um, which hurt us, and then uh, they were too good. They uh, they beat us around the ball, and we couldn't stop Payne up up the front half. And um, you know, they got away from us and. You know, we fought it. We fought it out, and we showed effort and all those sort of things you're after. But in the end of the day, we just weren't quite good enough. Yeah. No. Well, like I said, mate, it was a hard game. Um, one, uh, an, an injury that we heard was Buffalo. Um, any word on what it might be? Not 100 percent sure. You know, we sent him off to hospital. So Nick's a young player, as you know, and he's still at school. Um, so we'll check up on him and make sure that he's okay. But uh, yeah, look, unfortunately in football, you get injuries and uh, you know he looks like he got a pretty bad one so we'll we'll check up on him and hopefully he's going to be okay. All right. No worries. Thanks for that Shelby. Over to you Charles. Thanks Jared. I'm joined by senior assistant coach Paul O'Connell. Uh, Paul it was a great win for the club today. Um, I heard that this was the first your first win in 15 years at this ground so you've got to be pretty happy with with how the boys performed. Yeah, yeah we, we're not quite sure how long it's been. It could, it could even be longer but certainly this group of players and some have been playing for 10 years at this club, have never won here. So it was, uh, we, we set ourselves for it and we really challenged the boys to, um, to knock that one off. Um, Dila are very difficult to play at this ground and uh, they, were, um, they, they were trying to win because they're still in the relegation area. So we knew they were going to come out firing, so really pleased to get the win. You were down by 10 points at three-quarter time. Um, a lot of your players did step up. What was the message to um, the boys at three-quarter time? Very much that, Charles. We, uh, we just challenged our leaders. We said, you know, on the back of you guys, you've got, to set the, you've got to set the scene. We're only 10 points down. We think this was the scoring end for most of the, uh, for most of the day, and we just thought if our leaders stood up, then the rest of the team will jump on their back. And if we are to be in the hunt to play finals we had to win this game so we just really challenged the boys um now moving forward to next week you've got collegians back at home um and you know to play finals it's gonna it's gonna be a really really big game so what are you most looking forward to for for that one just the opportunity we're, we're now half a game behind them uh we're playing at our home ground and we just we're, we're challenging the group they haven't played finals in a grade this this group of players so you know, we we really just want we we really want for them to achieve, and you know we think if they bring their their four quarter effort intensity, then um, we'll be in with a good shot to win the game. Thanks for joining us. Um, thank you, thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next week. This has been another complete sports management production.